is day three of Lent. Also in the day million of pandemic, is this also the only season in which you have fully matching pajamas? You're just wearing a giant unitard of cotton. Um, this morning I'm just thinking about um, what it means to think about Lent as a time where we accept our limits. Ugh, I am such a hypocrite. <laughs> I am the last person to be good at that. Lent is supposed to be, um, I don't know, I, I hear the word limitation and I just think like, yeah, but if I move faster, if I moved um, more efficiently, if I just, if I didn't sleep, if I, if I ignored every boundary, but then and then and then and then. And, um, and Lent says uh, we are finite. Lent says we are, we were probably never going to get that much better <laughs> in the best way in our culture of endless progress. Lent right sizes our expectations by saying, um, remember you are dust. And there's permission in that, I think, to be, um, to, you know, so I don't even need to um, think any um, unbelievably intelligent thoughts because all of the ones that I am thinking of are just things that Nadia said the other day at our Ash Wednesday service. She, um, Reverend Navi Nadia Bullsweber is, um, she's a Lutheran priest and a friend and a thinker I really enjoy. And she gave this beautiful little mini sermon at the beginning of our service about, um, about accepting our limitations. And she said she thought that Ash Wednesday was refreshing. It's downright audacious, she said, that amidst our social anxiety of impermanence, that we blurt out that kind of truth as if it's not offensive. But the thing about blurting out this kind of truth about ourselves is it allows us all just to exhale and spiritually stop holding our stomachs. I think it's got to be okay to step into um, our finitude to learn to accept our limits. And as she said, oh man, I immediately teared up when she said it. She said, um, our finitude, our impermanence, our um, that and and death itself is and disintegration is real. And it is real, it is real, it is real. She's so affirming of like our our ultimate limitations. But she's like, but it is not the realest thing. The realest thing about us is like the beloved spark inside of us that God will pull toward. A future in which there will be no tears and we will be together. So it's okay if we accept our limits. So that's what I think Lent is trying to say for now. Maybe it's okay to be ash for another 37 days. <laughs> Bless you all. May you feel your limits today when you say, I don't have enough. May there be like a little space in there to feel like that's calling you toward a different kind of identity. Limited. that for a sec. Have a beautiful, terrible day, my friends.